again. So they, those generations, why Joshua still like didn't know about war because they didn't have to fight. Huh. So then that's why he left those other nations to teach them war. And that book tells you that uh, that we learned from the Canaanites how to yep. you know live. Yep. So that that proves that right there. Uh, and that's why we wanted that one king because everybody else had that one king and they had order. Mm -hmm. We were the only ones. Every man did as uh, what was right in his eyes because uh. we didn't have no king. And because, like I said, we didn't have a king, we had no order. Even though the Most High gave us his law we didn't to keep order, right. every man did like what was right in his own eyes even though we had a law because they didn't have no, no overseer over all that. Because the Most High was our king. Yeah. But... They wanted a, a earthly king. They wanted an earthling king. Something that they can hold, something that they can possess, something that they can they say, can this is worship. Yeah. Something that, something that uh, will allow them to do wickedness. Yeah. Yep. Think that it's so That can okay. be persuaded. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what that yeah. Jesus shit is. He lets you do all the wicked you fucking want. You know what I'm saying? So. It says, uh, so not here. Only, uh, it says, namely five lords of the Philistines and all the Canaanites. And the Sidonians and the Hivites that dwell in Mount Libyan from Mount ba Baal Haram until the entering uh, uh, until the entering in of Hamad. And they were to prove Israel by them to know whether they would hearken unto the commandments of the Lord which he commanded their fathers by the hands of Moses. And the children of Israel dwelt among the Canaanites, Hittites, and Ammonites, and the Persicites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And they took their daughters to be their wives, and gave their daughters to their sons, and served their gods. And that's, that was the iniquities, man, because we wasn't supposed to uh, mingle with these other nations. Okay. That's a sin. The Most High didn't want us doing that. Matter of fact, go to... Uh, uh, I think it's Deuteronomy. No, 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 not Deuteronomy. Um, yeah, Deuteronomy seven. Start. I think it's seven. I think it's seven. Seven. Start with uh, seven one. Deuteronomy 7 and 1. When the Lord thy power shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Gergesites, mm -hmm. and the and the Amorites, and the and and how you say that? Gergesites. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't. Wait, oh, okay, it's right here. And the Canaanites, and the Persicites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations gather uh, greater and mightier than thou. Mm -hmm. And when thou, and when thou the, and when the Lord thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy, <coughs> destroy them. And utterly <laughs> destroy them. It means it was to wipe them out. Mm -hmm. No, no, no hostages. No traces. No, no, nothing, man. Everybody's supposed to go. Every, all the altars, all the stones, everything. Just like when we're going to do this time. So yep. I'm going to make sure we do it right this time. Con. Because that's why he's going to put his spirit within us yep. to make sure it gets done the right way. Thou shalt make no... <coughs> Covenant with them, nor show them mercy, show mercy unto them. Now it says, Thou shalt make no covenant. And I just said in the scripture, I just read, said he shall make no lead, which is that, uh, you know, that pledge of allegiance, make uh -huh. a lead to bring them on to you and to fight and mingle with you. Huh, so if, you're, if your kid is still pledging of allegiance to America, tell her that kid to stop. Because that's pledging what? An allegiance back onto your enemy, man. Mm -hmm. America is not your friend, America is your enemy. It says, 
It says, neither shalt thou make mar marriages with him, thy daughters. Thou shalt not give unto his sons, nor his daughters shalt thou take unto thy son, for right. they will turn away thy sons from following me. Con. So that's that's the reason the Most High did not want us to mingle with these other nations, because we was going to forsake him and to start worshiping their gods. Uh -huh. Read that part again. Con. It says... Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thy daughters. Thou shalt not give unto his sons, nor his daughters. Shalt thou take unto thy sons, for they will turn away thy sons from the from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Huh. And that, you know, so that's why the Most High didn't want us to mingle with these other nations. Uh, and it says, uh, this is uh, Judge 3 and 6. And, and they took their daughters to be their wives and gave their daughters to their sons and served their gods. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and forgot the Lord their power and served by limb and the groves. Therefore, the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel and he sold them into the hands of of Chashan Ra Athami, king of Mesopotamia. And the children of Israel served the king, it says, uh, served Chushan Ra Athami eight years. And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, Yahweh raised a deliverer to the children of Israel who delivered them even. O Nael, the son of Kanaz, Caleb, younger, younger brother. And the spirit of Yahweh came upon him, and he judged Israel and went out to war, and the Lord delivered to Shan Rash Athanami, king of Mesopotamia, into, into his hands. And his hand prevailed against to Shan Rash Athanami. And the king and, and and the land had rest forty years, and old Nael the son of Canaz died, and the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord strengthened Eglon, king of ba king of Moab, against Israel because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord, and he gathered unto and he gathered unto him the children of Ammon and and Amalekite and went to smoke and went and smote Israel and possessed the city of palm trees and the children of Israel served Eglon the king of Babel I mean Salakia king of Moab 18 years so that's the Chinese the so-called Chinese and he said Ammon the so-called Japanese and Amalek those same fucking Jews that mm -hmm. still got alliance with those niggas man right so that's one first we serve the king of Mesopotamia eight mm -hmm. years for this for disobedience then we doing uh 16 what was it 18 for uh, under moab you know then we served 70 in babylon so the, every time we messed up the most high put us in slavery the only people that have been in slavery for the you know that we can remember to this day now is, is the negroes and the uh the so-called latinos the the native americans they call huh. them puerto rican now but they, they only really either native americans or the so-called Native Americans, the so-called Negroes. That's the only really two things they can be. Or if they're from fucking Spaniards, and they really don't want to be that. They're not really Spaniards. They're well, Spanish. I'm saying, no, I'm talking, you know, some of the oh, Spaniards well, okay. that was yeah, raping our people, you know, some uh -huh. of them are Spaniards. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically every time, you know, matter of fact, go to, uh, go to, um, Go to Genesis 15. Okay. And every time we, every so every time we messed up, the Most High uh, brought a deliverer upon us, which uh -huh. is one of the judges, to do, to get us out. Yeah, by the Most High's word. Come. Everything was by His word, and you have to have faith in His word that He was gonna do it, man. 
all right? Because all those that didn't have faith, yeah, he came and delivered you, but then he killed you in the fucking wilderness. But that was like a revolt. That's a.